How to use SalesMeet CRM for beginners. Hello guys, and today we're going to talk about SalesMeet. SalesMeet CRM is a powerful tool that can help you manage your customer relationships and streamline your sales process. Whether you are a small business owner or a sales professional, SalesMeet CRM can help you keep track of your leads, prospects, and customers, and stay on top of your sales activities. In this tutorial, We'll show you how to get started with SalesMeet CRM from creating your account and setting up your pipeline to manage your contacts and deals. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a good understanding of how to use SalesMeet CRM to grow your business and close more deals. So, let's get started. Now, the first thing you're going to do is go to salesmeet.io, which where we are right now, and simply click on Get Started on this option over here on or click on try for free on the top right. Now over here, we're going to enter our email. I'm going to use a temporary email over here for the meantime. And I'm going to enter our email over here, then click on get started. Then we're going to enter our first name. I'm going to enter my first name, last name. And then our company, we're going to have this as our company for the meantime. And we're going to enter our country, for example, USA. Our phone number, we're going to use a temporary phone number as well. I'm going to copy this, select that, select that, and then we're going to enter a password, then confirm our password, click on continue. Over here, we're going to create our domain. We have caesar.salesmate.io, then we could choose our industry. We choose any of this option, for example, on e-commerce, and then click on next. And it's going to ask us how big our organization is. It could be only one of us. We have a team of five or a team of 10, just like this. We're going to choose maybe just team of two to five. We could also, we're then going to choose what we do at our company. We could be the founder, executive, vice president, directive, manager, agent rep, and other. We could choose our founder for now. And it's going to ask us what we would like to do with our with sales meet. We have inbound sales, outbound sales, sales automation, real time chat, lead generation, and other. We can click on inbound sale, click on next. And over here, this is going to ask what tools do we currently use. We could choose from PipeDrive, Mailchimp, Fresh Sales, Zendex Sales, HubSpot, Copper, Salesforce. We could click on other over here, and we could type in the tool that you are using if you don't use any of this option we could click on skip this step for now because we're not going to use any of this and we're going to be verifying our email we're going to go back here and we're going to click on our verification over here and we're going to click on our verification link and just like that we are now currently on our dashboard and as you can see we have a lot of things on our screen as you can see, we have a lot of things on our screen and we're going to check them out one by one. As you can see here, we have a setup guide on what you should do first before you get started. This is what you would need to do to get started with SalesMeet. The first thing you would need to do is to import your contacts, then connect your email, sync your calendar, review your sales pipeline, invite your team like your teammates, use sequences, and quick book meetings. You can also see over here that we can create a dashboard by clicking on this option over here. When you click this, we would be able to see sales overview or default dashboard. Basically, dashboard is where you would be able to easily see the different information about your business or whatever you are using sales made for. You can create your own dashboard by clicking on this option or you could follow a template like sales overview, which would allow you to view widgets that are specifically designed for sales or you could have a default dashboard over here what we are seeing right now is the default dashboard where we can see deal pipeline my agenda deal performance activity performance overview contacts most recently updated this is the default dashboard that we have we could add widgets by clicking on this option over here we could add activity leaderboards by users activity leaderboards by users with type breakdown and many more you could also filter them by contacts, company, deal, activity, conversion, system, and custom, depending on what you would like to see on your dashboard. 
editing your dashboard is very important because it would save you time on checking the things that you would like to see. Now over here on the left side, you can see that we have a lot of options. We have the sales mate guide. We have the dashboard, which we are currently looking at. We have the contacts, companies, activities, deals, inbox, team inbox, text, reports, automation journeys, and chats over here or chat journeys. We're going to check out our contacts over here. In contacts, this is where we will be able to add our different contact guides like for example, people we would like to communicate with. Basically, contact is the where you would be able to add every email that you would like to interact with. As you can see, we have a sample email over here. When we click this, we would be able to see information about this specific contact. We have a sum Motwani over here. It is a sample contact. We would be able to see their email, their phone, their mobile, other phone, website, address line, CD state, zip code, descriptions, and many more depending on what information we would like to add when we add a contact. We also have notes over here where we could track notes for the specific contact. For example, this client is for storage business, just like that. Then we can click on save. We would be able to have a note for the specific contact just like this. You can also email them by clicking on this option. We would need to configure our email account before we could start. We also click on add activity over here, for example, meeting, just like that. And we would be able to call them on the specific time and date that we add. Could also edit the availability, add internal notes, add, edit the owner, link records, followers, and tags. And we could simply click on save over here. You could also filter what is being shown by clicking on these options over here, like activities, deals, notes, emails, files, text, and updates. You can also check out the log activity over here and files over here where we would be able to share files to the specific person over here. We can also see here on the right side, we have smart insights where we can see last communication, last communication on, the deals that we have, the deals that we want, activities, select that. We have the deals, progress over here, associate deals, sequence, and list. Now we're going to go back to contacts once again and to add a contact you can simply click on this button over here on the top right and we would be able to enter information about this contact person for example for the name we're going to add john just like that and for the last name maybe christ just like that we could add a mobile we could add an email we could add a company job title phone number another phone number we could add the owner, we could add the type. For example, we have customer, lead, vendor, partner, competitor, reseller, and other. We could maybe have this person as a customer, just like that. We could add an email out, SMS out, and currency. We could also select their time zone and their social information over here. After filling in the information that you have, you can simply click on save. And just like that, our person would be added over here. We would be able to see their job title if we added any. You could easily edit the specific parts by hovering on the specific section just like this. And you could also move to the right and we would be able to see the tags section over here. For example, for the job title, we could hover over here, then click on this. We would be able to add job titles for them. For example, all for our customer over here, we have manager just like that then click on save and we would be able to see their job title over here but also add their company name over here for example we have caesar as their company just like that and we could click on create a new company and we would be able to add caesar as a new company for us we have the name owner website and phone number over here we're going to click on save and save once again and as you can see, we have Caesar as the company over here. We could add email, mobile number, and change the owner once again. We could manage the columns that we see. We could click on this option over here. And we would be able to see more information if we like. For example, we could see phone number types, just like that, depending on what we would like to see on our contact information over here. Now, the next thing we're going to check out is the companies over here. We could add companies of our contacts by importing a file or creating a new company. We could click on create a new company and we could add the name over here. For example, Coffee World. Just like that. We could add their website, their phone, their other phone, 
number of employees, maybe five, their annual revenue, the type. We could add this as a competitor. We could add their socials, their details, address, and many more. We could add associate contacts over here. And after doing this, you could either click on save and save and add another. I'm going to click on save. And as you can see, we have Coffee World as a company over here. We could manage our columns once again, and we could add ID to our to what we are seeing. Let's select this. And just like what we saw earlier, we could add any information that, that we would like to see. We're going to click on save for this view only. And just like that, we have ID over here. We could click on activities also. This is where we will be able to track our different activities that we would like to do. We have calls over here, task, meeting, and demo. And this is where you will be able to manage the different things that you would need to do. And you would be able to see overview over here, the today, the tomorrow, the this week. So that you would be able to have a very organized view of things you would need to do. You could also click on calendar option over here, which would allow you to see the different tasks that you would need to do on a calendar form. You can also change it from day, week, and month. To add an activity, you can simply click on this option over here on add activity. And you would be able to add an activity title over here. For example, we're going to do with testing for now. We could add a type. It's, it can either be a call, a task, a meeting, or a demo. We could add the date and time, the availability, internal note, owner, link records, followers, and tags. All right, we're simply going to click on save. And just like that. To edit a specific task, you simply click on the box over here. And you could either delete, start queue, update or export we can also check out the deals over here this is where you would be able to see the different deals that we have currently we are seeing it as a board we could also see it as a list by clicking on this option over here you could also see on touch section over here contact section qualified proposal presented and in negotiation negotiation you could move around the specific deal that you have to wherever you would like to add for example this deal has been qualified. You can simply add it over here, just like that. You could add a new deal on the specific sections by clicking on the plus sign over here. You would be able to add a title, contract, contact, company, and many more, just like that. And you could also click on actions over here where you would be able to customize your deal card, default pipeline, mass transfer deals, mass delete deals, and many more options that we have over here. Now we could also see our inbox over here. This is where we will be able to compose our different emails. We could also have an outbox scheduled, BCC forwarded, sent, archive, and trash. We could also have our team inbox over here for group email management, internal discussion, and shared visibility. We could also have text over here, and there's also reports on this section over here. We could also have automation journeys by clicking on this option over here and you would be able to have an automation for your salesmate. And that's basically it guys. That's how you can use salesmate for beginners and hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.